Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for reaching your dream job role. Myself, I'm Malvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining the various questions asked in top companies which are available in the lead code platform. All the code rep code solutions for all the questions which are available in the lead code platform are there in my GitHub repository. The solutions for that and link for that is available in the chat description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question, the premium level subscription questions into a premium playlist and I have ordered all the questions into one single playlist consisting of 230 questions ordered by the sequence number. The question which we are trying to solve it today is type medium question number 1393 capital gains or loss let's see the question okay here you can see it is already asked in a company called robin hood for one to two years experience okay they have given a table called stocks which is consisting of four columns stock name operation operation day and price okay the combination of stock day and operation day okay on every single day a unique day and the respect to stock becomes the primary they say that operation can be of only two types sell or buy there is no other type each row of this table indicates that the stock which has stock name had an operation on the day with respect to the price okay it is guaranteed that each sell operation for a stock has a corresponding buy option in a previous day it is also guaranteed that uh, okay after buy there will be sell sell after buy okay no issue write an sql query to report the capital gain or loss for each stock the capital gain or loss of each stock is the loss after buying and selling the stock one okay we need to divide them after selling and buying summation what is the final thing let's see some example Okay, if you see here there are three stock names one is what lead code let's try to make it big one is lead code and okay there are only two lead code i guess okay lead code let's take the lead code sell means he has nine thousand account rupees in his bank account buy means minus ten thousand minus thousand okay so some will be 8000 okay clear similarly corona mask are five things six things corona mask buy means minus 10 rupees again yeah plus 110 110 let me yeah this is minus 10 this is sell so that is why plus again buy minus thousand again sell plus five thousand five hundred and again buy minus thousand and again sell okay what's the price they given okay sell again ten thousand okay if you see these three things cancel each other 500 plus 10 minus 10,000 minus 500 minus 500 plus 10,000 9,500 what will be the corona thing corona is by the okay next thing is hand wax one two what is the thing which is there plus 30,000 7,000 is sell sorry it is buy it is minus sell so plus seven thousand minus thirty thousand plus seven thousand twenty three thousand okay we got it what is happening so what we need to do we need to group by the respective stock names 
and if it is buy we need to make it as price should be minus 10,000 if it is sell it should be same right so we can use a case one statement such that if it is buy make it minus if it is sell make it uh, leave it as it is and we can do the summation of everything let's do the code of that from stocks table group by stock name select stock name case one we need to do summation of these things so I'll keep in sum case when operation equal to buy then it should be minus 1 into price else it should be price only Let's end, let's end this case statement as capital gain loss. Let's run it. Function name parsing and resolution section in the reference in manual. Uh, what is the mistake I've done? case when operation is equal to buy then minus 1 into price mm -hmm. test dot sum doesn't exist Let's run it. Okay. Let's submit it. What is the issue? It got accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are preparing for a data analyst or a data scientist interview. Just be disciplined. Complete all the 230 videos which are there in my channel. One day you will be able to crack your interview with flying clearers. Thanks for watching.